Well, hello there. Where's everybody? Come on, we need some energy in the room, guys. It's, I know it's just it's the second day, but we can actually do it. Let's go. Okay, um, to begin, hi. My name is Luis. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Rider. Let's do a little bit of rewind, shall we? So I went to crypto in 2016. Our CDO, Marvin, Rider's other co-founder in 2013. Now, we went to Web3 because of the ideals. There were three. It was permissionless, decentralization, and sovereignty. These are the ideals that we believe in, that our team believe in, and it's probably the reason why you're here today. But the biggest question that we had after working in the protocol level for years is, why is it so difficult for everyone else to actually uphold the values of Web3? So I have friends in 2016, the same time I went to the space, that wanted to go in. OK, let's fast forward. Seven years later, they're still in the same spot, stuck. You know, They find Web3 intimidating and difficult like most consumers. Now, let's not mention the fact that if you start your first Web3 experience, you're actually greeted by a 12 or 24 word, or what we call seed phrases. And if we're going to be honest here, we, as a collective humans, are not really great at keeping secrets, let alone protecting these seed phrases. Bam, right? $3.5 billion is the staggering amount that was lost due to seed phrases. People can't handle it, period. At Rider, we actually assembled the best team to give you the best solution to solve this problem. You have Web3 native experts from top tier protocol like Stacks, OpenSea, and Trust Machines. And now you combine it with Web3 hardware experts that actually brought millions of devices worldwide. Together, we made it our mission to actually create a hardware wallet that satisfies three criteria. First, no single point of failure. Second, low mental head effort. And third, maximum ease of transaction. We want to provide our moms, dads, friends, and family a super simple and super secure way to actually interact with digital asset. And now, after two years of development, we're proud to introduce you to Rider One. Super simple. Super strong. Super simple. There's more. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I think I have something in my pocket, actually. Oh, wow. So, okay, let's go, right? <laughs> okay, Rider is actually the first hardware wallet that combines security, simple setup, and easy recovery. And Rider 1 is actually the first step towards our multi year long vision of bringing your digital asset in the real world. Right? I think the vision that we always have is 
what if you can actually give productivity to this asset? So Rider is actually powered by NFC, the same technology in Apple Pay. If you combine NFC with digital asset, you're able to unlock a lot of Web3 use cases. From buying your coffee to actually entering through with your digital collectibles in Breakpoint, and even me and worse totally and Austin can actually do in real life asset swap. And that's what we're bringing to the space. And there are three things to get started with your best hardware wallet user onboarding experience. First, we have, of course, the Rider one, which is the hardware wallet. And second thing is, we have this thing called, I have a lot in my pocket today. Rider, wait, <laughs> Rider recovery tag, right? And these are NFC battery-free tags, which are ultra-resistant to dust and water, and that can retain data after 25 years. And lastly, you're also going to need the Rider mobile application. These three things need to work together in order to give you the best user and boarding experience for hardware wallets. Now, first. Rider is super simple. You simply tap your Rider recovery tag with the Rider mobile application against your Rider one to create and back up your wallet. It takes less than 60 seconds. Second, Rider is super secure. You just need to tap to send a transaction, and your paired phone can only talk to your Rider device. And of course, for all the security maxis out there, it's actually 100% air gap. No Bluetooth, no Wi-Fi, it's portless, giving you the utmost security. Simplicity, security, that's what we want when it comes to the architectural design for Rider. And third, Rider is super strong. So Rider actually boasts an IP68 rating, making it dust and water resistant. And probably your question is, OK, how did we make it all possible? And to talk about the security and technical implementation of Rider, I would love to call on our CDO, Marvin Jansen, on the stage to talk about security. Hey everyone, it's such a pleasure to be here. I'm Marvin, the CTO of Rider. I'd love to talk to you a little bit about how the Rider One works and how our new recovery backup system works. So I'd love to introduce TapSafe Recovery. So TapSafe Recovery is a seedless, a seed phraseless uh, recovery mechanism as an alternative to using paper backups. So TapSafe Recovery, as Lou has already introduced, it just takes 60 seconds to set up a wallet and create a backup. So what happens if you want to recover your wallet? Well, all you need to do is simply reverse the process. It is worth noting that TapSafe Recovery is completely self-custodial. So everything is offline. It never leaves your device. You have full control over how and when you want to create your backup. Writer is the company. We never receive any sort of information about your wallet. So let's look at the default situation here. So you just bought your rider. It comes with one rider recovery tag, and you have your mobile device. So in the normal situation here, you're good to go. You can use your wallet. You can use your assets. It takes a simple tap to send a transaction. Everything is secure. Now let's imagine you lose your rider. So what happens next? As long as you have your rider recovery tag and your mobile phone, there's really no issue. You simply get a new shiny rider. You reverse the process, so you collect your recovery tag that you hidden away somewhere safe, maybe at your mom's home, I don't know. You bring it together with your rider, you tap, you're halfway done recovering. You bring it to your phone, you tap, and if the clicker works, you recover your wallet. It's that easy. But there are more variations, because we understand that everybody's security needs are different. People create different kinds of backups. So let's look at a different situation. So TapSafe Recovery is very flexible. The recovery tag comes with the rider, but you can choose to add more recovery tags later on. So let's imagine that you have multiple rider recovery tags that you've hidden away in different places around the world, different physical locations, and 
you lose both your writer and your mobile device. So in this situation, you collect at least two recovery tags. You can have more than two, but you can mix any two. You bring them together, you tap halfway through, you tap again, and your writer wallet is recovered. But that's not all. You can set up even more different kinds of recovery methods as well. So in this situation, you can actually include your social circle and make them part of your backup process. So we call this the, the social recovery aspect of TapSafe Recovery. So it, I have to stress and say that doing this is completely optional. As I said, everybody has different security needs, so we understand that some people love to use social recovery, but it might not be for everyone. So there's definitely no requirement to use this. So in this situation, all that, all that your social circle, all that they need is the mobile app on their phone. You can meet them at different points in time. You can give them a backup share, and they become part of your tap safe recovery process. So in this situation, I lost my writer, I lost my phone, but I still have my tag. I tap my tag. And as you can see, we're halfway there. So now the social circle, they each count for one quarter of your backup process. So as you can see, halfway there, meet my first friend, go to my wife, please help me back up my wallet, go to my friend, Lois, back up the other part, and there you go. My wallet is recovered. I can start using my assets again immediately. But that's not all. Imagine the worst case scenario. You lose your rider. You lose your recovery tag, I don't know how you do it, and you lose your phone, worst case. Does that mean that everything is lost? Your asset is gone, you can no longer access your soul? Well, not necessarily. If you have utilized your social circle and made them part of your backup process, if you have four members in your social circle, you can still recover. As I mentioned before, every member in your social circle counts for one quarter, so you meet them individually, you don't have to do this at the same time, you don't have to host a writer recovery party or anything like that. You do that in your own time. You tap, and your wallet is recovered. So how does TapSafe Recovery work behind the scenes? So getting a bit more technical here, uh, Rider is powered by a Shamir secret sharing algorithm. And now many of you might say, like, OK, I've heard of this. I know this. So we have a custom implementation of Shamir that we call our weighted Shamir secret sharing algorithm. So what Shamir allows you to do is to take some secret information, in this case, your master private key of your wallet, and split this into multiple pieces. So with Shamir, the very interesting thing is that even if you have some of these pieces, it won't allow you to infer or find out any information about the wallet. So in our case, you need at least four pieces to recover, as you just saw. A writer recovery tag contains two pieces. Your phone contains two pieces. Your optional social circle contains one piece each. So even if someone manages to find one piece of your backup, or even two, or even three, they will not be able to access your wallet in any way. So it is very important to stress here that the TapSafe recovery protocol is going to be fully open source. So we don't want people to end up on islands. We want to build bridges. That's very important to us. So that means that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That means that even if, you know, a long time down the line, 20 years down the line, Ryder, the company, doesn't exist in this shape or form, you can still rest easy and know that you can recover your wallet. And what is very exciting is that we're already talking to third-party vendors that are very interested in implementing both TapSafe recovery as well as supporting the Ryder one. So we think that's, that's very important. Uh, finally, uh, the TapSafe recovery process is currently being audited by CoinFabric, and more audits are going to follow soon thereafter as well. I think they have a booth around here, so be sure to visit them. They're an awesome team. So what is inside Rider one well, First, we have an MCU, powerful but battery efficient. So the MCU will draw all the beautiful UIs that you just saw. Quinton worked very hard on those, and there's a lot of beautiful UIs still to come. Uh, it, it will power all the interactions and all the interesting stuff you do with the writer. But then next to that, we also have a so-called secure element chip. So secure element chip, for those of you who don't know, is a more secure chip than a normal MCU. Uh, they're more resistant against different kinds of attacks. And this is the chip that contains your sensitive information. So your private keys are in there, the secure element 
does the signing operations, but even the tap safe recovery protocol is implemented in this secure element. So it's a secure element that generates these secure shares. So the chip that we're using is a latest generation Infineon chip. It's the SLE78. And we're very happy to also announce that we are working on a custom operating system for this chip that we're calling Rider OS. So what's inside the recovery tag? So inside the recovery tag, there is a NXP P71 series chip. This is also a, a European producer. It's a very interesting chip in that uh, it is smarter than your average NFC tag. So these are the same types of chips that you find in bank cards, and they allow for a certain amount of programmability, and they're also very secure. Lo has already mentioned there's a data retention of 25 years. So using these tags, you can be sure that your wallet will be safe for a long time to come. And then finally, we have various mechanisms in place to ensure that when you're using the rider, you can feel secure. So the secure element has various different ways to detect a discrepancy in either the firmware, so that's the code that is installed in the rider, or in the payloads, like the transactions you send it through NFC. And when it detects one of these discrepancies, the rider will light up red. It will literally start blinking red. We have LEDs that will blink red to know that something is wrong. So when you see this as a user, and you should never see this, but when you do, you uh, should proceed with extreme caution. So these LEDs are actually directly connected to the secure element. So that means that even if the other chip, the MCU, is compromised, it will not be able to prevent the rider from lighting up red. On top of that, you saw earlier in the video that to confirm a transaction, all you need to do is hold the rider. So the button that makes this possible, we have a capacitive button under the glass. This button is also connected directly to the secure element. So that means even if the MCU is compromised, there is no way for the MCU to trick the secure element into believing like, hey, the user, you pressed confirm, we want to do this transaction. So we'd love to introduce the amazing launch partners that we're working with. Uh, we're very excited to work with them, but of course, we're always open to finding more partners. So if you're interested, please come to talk to us after the presentation. We'd love to chat and uh, see where it can take us. So after all of this, you might be wondering, like, OK, so how can I get my hands on a rider? How much is it going to cost? And for that, I will hand it off back to Lewis. Hey guys, this is probably the moment you've been waiting for. <laughs> How much is one, right? So, okay, this little beautiful thing actually retails at $249. And today, just today, for the next 48 hours, you can actually enjoy a $90 discount on Rider One. Rider one is currently available on Kickstarter. So if you're interested to actually buy one, pledge now. Here's the QR code for it. And yeah, the big question that we have is, are you writing? Yeah. Thank you.